prima facie legal definition related content, a Latin term literally meaning at first appearance or on the face of it. It is used in both civil and criminal law to denote that on its face, sufficient evidence exists to support a case. Only one in ten trials come through with a guilty conviction. But that doesn't make sense because nine women aren't lying. That is just how difficult it is to prove these things, and I don't think the public really understand that. And these cases that become really public, like we've had recently, you do, you, have, you look in the media and you see people go, oh, well, she must be lying if she was if he didn't get convicted. And he goes, that isn't, makes no sense. Women aren't lying. And I think uh, if you want to see how it happens and why this system needs to change, because it really is, the victim goes on trial, not the assailant. Um, I think if you're ready to face that and ready to have difficult conversations with people about that, you should see this play. Plot outline. Every winner might be the one who loses. The next day, Tess is a thoroughbred, a young, brilliant barrister who loves to win. She has worked her way up from working class origins to be at the top of her game, defending, cross-examining, and lighting up the shadows of doubt. In any case, an unexpected event forces her to confront the lines where the patriarchal power of the law, burden of proof and morals diverge. Jodie Comer, the Emmy and BAFTA award-winning star of Killing Eve, as well as Free Guy in The Last Duel made her West End debut in the UK premiere of Susie Miller's award-winning play Prima Facie, which takes us to the heart of where emotion and experience collide with the rules of the game. Justin Martin directed this solo actor toward a force at the intimate Harold Pinter for its strictly limited season. Jody Cummer and West End Prima Facie partnered with School's Consent Project. Consent will be the topic of the show. An educational partnership with the West End production of Prima Facie aims to promote and discuss consent issues in schools. Whilst at the Harold Pinner Theatre, the show collaborated with the School's Consent Project, providing free tickets and ancillary support to 10 partner school groups. Additionally, the production will raise money and donate to the project. We are delighted to partner with, Jody said, founder and former barrister, Kate Parker. It was a pleasure to work with James and the entire Primer Facie team during its two-month run at Harold Pinter Theatre. In our lawyer-led consent workshops for young people across the country, we discuss subjects such as consent, the criminal justice system, and the experience of women every day. We are excited about the impact of this partnership on the behavior and thinking of the youth we work with. The production is radical for a West End stage, as is its willingness to reach beyond the West End as part of the school's consent project. Professionals visit secondary schools to teach about consent while also normalizing conversations about the topic among young people. Among the things that Jody wished had been available to myself and my friends as a child is the school's consent project. I think this is a truly inspiring initiative and it gives me great pleasure to be a part of it. Self-esteem, also known as Rebecca Lucy Taylor, commented, I am often asked, how can this be changed and what can be done? An us versus them mentality is irrational. The system is ingrained from birth and the only way to change it is through education. I am excited to support and work with this charity and find a way to make a difference and bring about a change together. The complicity of women works hand in hand with the entitlement that men are taught and encouraged to have. If I had been taught in school to even slightly ask for more, my life would have played out differently. Producer James Beeman says, we are all honored to have the opportunity to pay tributes and support the vital and brilliant work that Kate and her team do up and down the country at the school's consent project in order to change the horrific levels of sexual assault we see in this country. We as a society have to change how we view and talk about consent. Educating young people makes the future a better place. Thanks to the school's consent project, Prima Facie begin performances at the Harold Pinter Theater on the 15th of April. Jody Cummer made her West End debut of Susie Miller's Prima Facie, which follows a barrister, Tessa, who is sexually assaulted with the audience acting as witnesses to the attack and its consequences. It is the intent of Miller to show the rape in a non-voyeuristic way and to let the audience witness what Tessa goes through. The audience aren't the jury. There is. Did it happen, didn't it? They're with Tessa. They know, which I thought was really powerful, said Jody. The story is a timely one in today's current climate. Something that has not been missed by Jody. She commented, It's so present and so upsetting when you do material like this. It feels so relevant to today, but sadly, there has never been any other way regarding the Me Too movement, she said. I think I've noticed it in myself as well. Finding out my own boundaries and what's right for me and what's not right for me and being able to voice my opinion. I wish I would have found that earlier, that you have to go through your own experiences in life. So that's how I feel the change, but I haven't had any awful experiences to speak of. I've been extremely lucky. Additionally, she expressed gratitude to the women she had worked with until the show Killing Eve. To work on a show like that has made me who I am today. I've been lucky that a lot of the women I've played have been so fully fleshed out and colorful that now it's set the bar. Despite her success, Jody is keen not to take anything for granted saying, I think you'll always have a moment when you walk into a room and you think, oh, wow, how did I get here? I hope I never get too comfort. 
I think it's nice to have those moments, but I definitely feel more steady in myself. I say before all of you, I spoke the truth. Hello, my name is Susie Miller. I'm a playwright and the writer of Prima Facie, which I'm extremely excited to announce is coming to... Lee Lewis is the artistic director of Queensland Theatre because she also directed this play when it was first produced at the Griffin Theatre in Sydney. And also the play happens to be dedicated to her as one of the wonderful creative leaders of this country. When we had this play on in Sydney, we had lots of amazing audience members and many of them cornered me afterwards if I was at the show and told me their own personal experiences of some of the themes that the, that the play touches. We also had one night which was all female judges, female barristers, female solicitors and lawyers. And that show was just astonishing because afterwards we had up to a two hour question and answer where together we thought of ways that we could change the legal system and actually make our voices heard. So it's a way that we can change the world with theatre. <laughs> what I'm hoping. Uh, one of the lines from the play that I most love, and I'm going to read it out to you, it's quite a long one, so bear with me. And it reads, this is Tessa Onsler in court, but after 763 days, all 10 tracks in my brain are lighting up. I have found my voice. It's a different voice, but it's mine. I keep speaking. I can hear objections over and over. I object, I object, trying to drown out my voice, but I do not waver. And I think that sums up where we get to with Tessa by the end of the show. But the journey to get there is one of many highs and many lows and many exciting moments and many moments where we also realize the system isn't working the way it should be. Jodie Comer dominates all of your awards, takes home Best Actress and Best Play trophies for Prima Facie. The 2023 Olivier Awards, the UK's version of the Tonys, Prima Facie, a play about a lawyer who defends men accused of assault and later becomes a victim of sexual assault herself, emerged as the major triumph and is set to hit Broadway. On the biggest night in UK theatre, Jodie Comer triumphed and was awarded Best Actress for her role in the one-woman play Prima Facie. The play, which follows the story of a brilliant barrister who has progressed from her working-class origins to the top of the profession before an unexpected event changes her life, also won the award for Best New Play. After receiving critical acclaim for her performance at the Harold Pinter Theatre, Jodie will be taking the play to Broadway later this month. When asked if she loved theater as much as TV and film, Kummer told PA, Yes, I've definitely got the bug now for sure. It is important to note that the play includes sensitive subject matters such as sex, violence, and sexual assault. So, be mindful of that when planning to watch the show. Overall, it's an exciting lineup for Prima Facie, and we can't wait to see it when it begins previews at the Golden Theater on April 11th, ahead of an April 23rd opening. It is set to run for a limited engagement through June 18th, so make sure to grab your tickets. Thoroughbreds! Every single one primed for the race, waiting at the starting gate then. All rise! Witness is just the witness. The judge looks at me. It's your witness, Miss Ensler. Yes, the witness is mine. Courtroom silence, charged, waiting for me. The thrill of this, play it cool! I will not be silent.